I've made over a hundred outside walking, talking videos. So I want to share a couple tips with you. The first and most important tip is to feel free to stop walking. It's just stand still and maybe pan around a little bit because even a slow walk like this can feel dizzying to the viewer. You know, and um, right now, because I'm going to walk in the other direction, you see how even just panning a little too quickly or having the background move a little too quickly can be dizzying to the viewer. But standing still, sorry about this, you know, see, quick pan, dizzying, right? But standing still is more calming for the viewer and they can focus more on your message. Now, um, the other thing to be aware of is how sensitive the microphone is. The wind just started, and I don't know if you can hear the wind sound. I'll have to listen to it later. But um, finding a place that doesn't have much wind uh, can be tricky, but it's important because if you listen to the video back and you hear the wind sound, it can be quite unpleasant for the listener. Um, other outside sounds, um, like traffic or just, you know, uh, can be okay if it's relatively steady sound like there's no honking going on thankfully or if you're near the water and it's fairly steady that's okay too but just be aware of any sudden loud sounds like maybe a loud bird suddenly chirping every now and then can be disturbing uh, for the viewer um, so the other uh, important thing to notice is the lighting the lighting right now I'm, I'm in okay lighting but notice if I step into um, the Sun the problem is that I might be squinting and that's not that's not a good look um, or if I'm like this then I'm kind of half bright half half dark uh, so you just kind of need to pan around a little bit until you find the lighting that is uh, more pleasant and there's got to be some way like this right this is probably pretty good um, sometimes people uh, aren't aware that you know they're backlit but sometimes they when they do walking videos they want to rest their arms so they put the video down like this and just kind of walk and talk but this is a backlighting problem you're backlit and also it's not a very flattering view it's not very respectful for the audience either so it's better to place yourself um, kind of eye to eye with the viewer and make sure your lighting is okay um, the last thing I'll say is that uh, I well I'll tell you why I stopped making outside walking videos it's because of my perfectionism I mean this very video right now I'm on my fourth take and I'm sure I can keep going because I'm sure I'll watch it back later and go oh this sound was too loud or I didn't forgot to say that so now I much prefer to make live videos because that cures my perfectionism and in fact I have a video below that talks more about the perfectionism thing if you want to to watch that one um, if you're going to be outside, don't make live video outside because your internet signal might not be good. And since a live video means that it's being broadcasted directly, you don't know if the sound is good. You can't watch it back in real time. So um, this is why I make my live videos indoors now. People can then focus on the message and I can feel more comfortable not worrying about the environment and be more, more animated. Because the other thing you notice I'm doing is I'm holding up the mic to be closer to my mouth so that it's better sound than if I just dropped it and talked. Um, it wasn't very loud when I did that, right? So I hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips for others who are making outdoors videos, feel free to comment below. But just remember the biggest tip, standing still, maybe panning a little bit is okay, but even a slow walk can be dizzying to others. So I hope this helps.